In the last two years, no rapper has seen the kind of boom that DaBaby has. He's gone from being just another rapper to the king of remixes. His songs with Dua Lipa have gone on to become all the rage, and even his own songs are shattering records. Many fans thought DaBaby would become the rapper of the decade with mega hits under his belt. But sadly, a clip from his live show went viral and made him the most hated rapper in the time span of just a few hours. That recording opened a whole can of worms, with people finding every time the rock star rapper got into trouble due to his controversial habits. In this video, we'll talk about the 10 incidents where DaBaby took it too far and wasn't even apologetic about it. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! 10. Shooting in North Carolina In November 2018, Jonathan Lindale Kirk, aka DaBaby, got arrested for shooting in Walmart in Huntersville. One person, named Jalen Dominique Craig, died as a result of the shooting. Soon DaBaby was put on trial, but he didn't release any sort of statement to his fans. In 2019, Kirk only got a year of probation because the judge decided whatever he did was covered as self-defense. While his fans were relieved to see their idol get justice and not getting in prison like countless other rappers, still, what he did was a heinous act that shouldn't be discarded like it was a petty crime. Deadly Walmart shooting in Huntersville are being dropped. Charlotte-based rapper DaBaby appeared in court today for a misdemeanor charge of carrying a concealed weapon. A key witness failed to show and the state dismissed the charge. 9. Punched a show promoter In January 2020, DaBaby was again in the headlines for not a great reason. It was alleged that he had punched a show promoter right before his show. The police had shown up at the venue before his concert with an arrest warrant. His name was involved in a robbery that had taken place, and also because the police suspected he had a stash of drugs hidden somewhere. Soon enough, the charges against him were dropped, and the police had no option but to let him go. This was also one of those incidents which the media would not have let go if it was done by a teenage pop star. But DaBaby's massive fan following was enough to make media outlets drop this subject. Your order to stay away from Kenneth Carey and the Novotel Hotel at 1500 Southwest 1st Avenue, City of Miami. That's a condition of your release. I got a quarter million dollars in the hotel. I need my lawyer to go to. 8. Pushed Away Fans One less pleasant side of fame is having absolutely no privacy. Celebrities could be out having dinner with their family, but fans won't care and would like to meet them. Usually, most celebs ask them politely to not disturb them, but not to baby. He has a different approach. He doesn't mind getting more aggressive in his approach, and it's been reported by many fans that he literally pushed them out of the way. This happened once outside of the concert arena in Massachusetts, and another time in front of a Louis Vuitton store. While we understand nobody likes to be interrupted by excited fans during family time, still his ways seem a bit harsh, don't you think? I sincerely apologize, you know, I do. I'm very sorry that there was a female on the other end of that flashlight on that phone. 7. Threatened a hotel employee Looks like DaBaby let his hands talk more than most people. It was reported that he had once threatened a hotel employee who didn't leave his family alone. There's a chance that the hotel worker must be out of line, but hitting him and threatening him wasn't the only solution. Kirk could have complained to the hotel manager or asked the employee to back off without actually physically hitting him. It seems like the levitating rapper likes to intimidate people who ever crosses him, and he does that by going after them completely. This means he isn't even afraid to hit them if they're in close vicinity. 6. Friendship with Tory Lanez in January 2021, a picture of Tory Lanez and DaBaby started doing the rounds on the internet. It hinted at some sort of upcoming collaboration between the two artists. Soon, people started calling DaBaby out for collaborating with Lanez, who's under investigation for allegedly shooting Megan Thee Stallion. Kirk had collaborated with Megan twice before this. They had a friendly rapport with each other. Initially, even Megan defended DaBaby when he was receiving the backlash. She said that this is some old project, and Kirk's vocals are being used without permission. But when the song was released in June, it became clear that DaBaby was quite involved in the song-making process and even appeared in the video. After this, Megan tweeted of him backstabbing her. He even brought out Lanes to perform with him on Rolling Loud stage right after Megan performed. 5. Possession of Marijuana DaBaby was arrested for the first time when he was 21 years old. He got locked up for the possession of weed. Since then, he's been arrested multiple times on the same charges, but every time he'd gotten out of jail by paying a fine. Every time after being bailed out, he had kept his stance at doing nothing wrong by keeping weed in his possession. Earlier, he used to have other drugs also with him, but after getting arrested, he dropped everything. Today, he claimed to be completely sober and even swore that he hasn't touched weed in a long time. 4. Homophobic Comments Now let's come to the incident which made DaBaby the most controversial rapper of 2021. 
At the beginning of this year, everyone was dying to collaborate with him, but now no one wants to be associated with him. When he was on the stage at the Miami Rolling Loud Festival, he interacted with fans and said, If you didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, or any of them deadly sexually transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two to three weeks, then put your cell phone lighter up. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexually transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two to three weeks, put a cell phone lighter up. While this was the line that created a roar on the internet, those who were at the show said this wasn't the only thing he said. He kept on going about the LGBTQ community and was using extremely harsh words, perpetuating the stigma around queer people. Soon enough, people from the industry and fans started calling him out over his problematic behavior. He was canceled from all of his lined up gigs, and many musicians even publicly boycotted him. 3. Shaded Dua Lipa When his video went viral, people were tagging Dua Lipa because of their mega successful songs. Fans assumed Dua knew about his homophobic nature and still chose to work with her. Soon, Lipa released her own statement by saying she was horrified at his comments and had no idea about him being this kind of person. She further stated that she won't work with him until he apologized. While DaBaby uploaded multiple videos on his Instagram addressing the issue, he didn't exactly apologize. He mostly focused on the part that whatever happened at the venue was between him and his fans. He didn't like the idea of this becoming a social issue and even asked celebs not to comment on this issue as it didn't concern them. My gay fans don't got f AIDS. They don't got AIDS. My gay fans, they take care of they self. They ain't going for that. They ain't, they ain't no nasty gay. Two, inconsistent apology. With every passing day, DaBaby's comments were only getting a more angry reaction from the fans and the people of the industry. He eventually tweeted what he called an apology, but it again backfired, as he didn't acknowledge what he said was problematic. He only apologized to the people who had been affected by HIV and AIDS personally, but said what he commented was absolutely right. He then tried to manipulate his fans by saying that the comments weren't directed at his fans because his fans are intelligent. It's safe to say that nobody fell for his fake apology, and this time, not even his own fans defended him. 1. Crass Lyrics After AIDS Controversy Even after all this controversy, he released a new song, giving what it's supposed to give, with lyrics that talk about AIDS. Soon after the release, he hinted he had written the song before his performance at the Rolling Loud Festival and said it was a mere coincidence that his comments got such attention. Even at the end of the music video, he seemed to have given a message to the haters with Don't Fight Hate With Hate, My Apologies For Being Me The Same Way You Want The Freedom To Be You. This made his fans realize that he knew he was being hateful and had no intention of truly apologizing for his views. And with this, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below, do you think DaBaby will ever truly realize the impact of his words? Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.